a little slower while I'm recording. There it goes. Let's just go ahead and load up the game and see. And see, I already have some time on this. I'm probably going to get a few errors. We'll see. This is the log, so. <clears throat> it's probably going to give me a few errors while I'm uh, actually. Uh, already have some progress on this map so it'll take a minute yeah it's to read the things that's changed we've added uh, something but it's always recommended to start a new game and I will eventually want to fully test this but most of the time I can just run over there and see just exactly what it's doing. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's check the mod, the map for errors. You can actually. This is sprayer error, low loader, object attack tree, can't load resource. I don't know what that is. I need to find out what that is though. Uh, can't load resource. HUD, wash potato. That's good. And it failed to load particle system. This is good. <coughs> well, they're finding some errors so we can fix it. Nothing ever works perfect. But at least we know. Okay. So it's looking for the washed potato hood. Which and it's looking for it in the Graceland folder, which is right there. There is no HUD folder, and I've never, I always move those. So. And it's also looking for the particle system folder there, also. So we need to fix where it's looking for this app. Hmm, let's see if it picks it out of this. And then we'll go to now let's see if the palette is looking for the particle systems in a different folder. Mm, no. Okay. <coughs> we need to search for this. Easily. Yeah. I'm just going to get that error again. It's looking for Post PS. Let's just do a search for that. Uh, here. Yeah. This is where it's.
looking for it. <coughs> so, if you can see the user attribute menu, I mean, we don't need this one. It's looking for compost PS, potato PS, potato, potato, okay. All we have to do is it looking it's looking in it's basically looking in the first folder. So when you open Graceland, now you can copy and paste the PS to here or I mean copy and paste the PS file here and move it to here with this which would probably be the simplest thing being I'm already using that Let's see if I wasn't using it I wasn't going to do it but being I'm already using it now I can take let's just cut it that way you don't have double double uh the you know, smaller the better. So we have six of them that are going to be the same as some other that's been used. Okay, and that's fine. It's probably from that compost machine. <coughs> so that should take care of those uh, four errors. <coughs> And let's see, what was the other? Oh, it was a HUD. HUD, wash potato HUD. This, I definitely. I don't want to create a whole new folder just for that. And that may actually be in the. probably in the script okay <coughs> the it was uh, fuel top regular where the hood is now see compost hood and we were looking for oh yeah wash potato hood we don't want that we want it to look for it where it actually is uh huh. So we're gonna go map models buildings potato washer hood. Okay. one to right, save that like I say we don't want to move all the stuff unless we have to okay that's okay that's okay in the log all right let's reload it up Oops. actually get this thing in there before I pause it while it's loading. Alright. Now what I there. Let's reload it. Uh, let's reload it. Why that? Oh it asked me twice it does it when you first error. It's a sprayer low loader script. Object attacher. 
that may have something to do with it. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to uh, because I don't know why it would. Maybe it sprayer. That's the only two errors in this line. Okay. I was thinking that low loader, they usually have a front bucket that sits in front of that thing. And it's on that Marhu side also where you can uh, move it around. And that was the compost machine I was talking about. Uh, see how it looks like compost. Hold on. Alright, sorry, my my wife was asking me a question uh, but this is the compost machine I was saying and like I say I have converted it to and it says compost mach manure machine but I changed it and then it, it says like wood chips but down at the bottom where it says manure that's where it's actually making manure it would be making compost if I had not had changed it or edited it the, the, the way I did so <clears throat> so if you do not have that machine you can leave com leave it as it's making compost but uh, what we need to do now is see if it works so I should have some potatoes I got a little bit so let me get us a trailer oh crap Let me uh let me get rid of this mixed ration. I think I uh have a place to put it. If you want to just hold on, let me pause this so I can get rid of this. Alright, let me see. I think I could have swore I had signs on this to tell me which one of these was which. Well, either the signs disappeared or something, but let's see. Yeah, that's potatoes. Reminds me I need to put my signs back. Got just enough, I think. To see if we get us some. there, which is kind of odd, so. I would want that. Yeah, I guess you do have a motor out there. I would rather it be a little higher up. Now, basically what's just happened is the machine has been told it has potatoes uh, and then the script will say okay we gotta have water and diesel evidently I should have looked this before all right let me go get some diesel and water be right back in case you wanted to know this is where you, you pull up and put water there in that spout you should get a trigger looks like it's full let me go get some diesel now i assume we put it right there in the generator 
Okay, and I backed up just right here at the edge here. Now, apparently that's all the diesel it holds, so... We have a diesel cart offland. That is the potato. I would change that name. It still says diesel empty, so give it about. Usually takes a minute for it to just start working. Turn this off. We should be able to hear this thing crank up and. <coughs> I may, uh, let's uh, speed the time up just a second. A lot of times when the it starts working so when the script is read oh, I just saw the F1 menu glitch so uh, something it's not working a lot of times you're not going to get an error message until you see it's already made chave so it tried to work for a second so we have an error Search find error. All right, well, this is a problem. It is. It has failed to load the washed potato pallet, and this thing will just continue on and on and on. So. <coughs> We know we have the pallet, but there again, it's looking for it in the wrong place. So, we need to find out where it's looking for it. Or we need to find out what is looking for the pallet there. It should be here. Let's just... Uh, spawner... Yeah. Yep, there it is. We've got to add the uh, command line just like we did with the with these user attributes here. <coughs> there should be Let's just make sure this is the only place, and normally it is. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is close this game out. I will save it, being I got everything in it. We already got a uh, detour and everything, so. <coughs> no. Let's change the directory where it's looking for it. Let's see. Map, models, buildings. Up here. How did I have washer? Is that the correct potato washer? Map, models, building, potato washer. Okay. Let's save that and let's load it again. That should have fixed it. We could have fixed that in the in here. But uh let's just close that out, close this out. And I'll pause while I'm loading that. Okay. And let's try and run over there before it starts up. Let's see what it says now. We have diesel water. Uh, we have 0% washed potatoes. 
it's making uh, some chafe here. I thought it would be doing some more stuff. Something just happened. Usually the F1 menu glitches like that. There's something wrong. Let's see what it says now. Trial and error, guys. Trial and error. Okay, it's still looking for the pallet in the wrong place. Uh, changing, changing that did not change. what I had hoped. Uh, let's see. We should be maybe it's just models. So it it's normally it normally already looks in the map itself. Uh, it's trying, sure it is. <laughs> but we should start get be getting a palette right here. So that part of the uh, script is not working. <clears throat> no, that should have changed. Let me just double check. The fabric's corrupt. I should have the latest version. Let me see here. Pellet spawner ID. see where it would be telling it. Let's see, you know something else we're going to have to add. We already have this. I'll have to add washed potatoes. I'll have to add this in the 110 section. We gotta find out. We gotta change. We know it's an output. It's probably this, which is the pallet spawner. And we need to find out. Palette, file name, map models, buildings, palette ID. Okay. When I changed that, it changed it here, so. <laughs> Let me see something a minute. Potato washer. I'll make sure the For some reason, it may not require map. It should automatically look in map. That may be the uh, thought I did. Okay. Mm, yeah, we're 
revive it. Yeah, see it changed there too. You can change it either or. So. <clears throat> We've almost gotten an hour into this. We've had a few errors, so hopefully ha having some errors will help you figure out how to fix uh, some errors you may get that uh, I had contemplated several times on adding this mod to this map. I guess the biggest reason was that compost pile. I think yeah, the gentleman's working on a different way of loading or unloading that stuff, so <clears throat> let's run over there. Guess I could switch to a vehicle. They yeah, have that uh, have a let's see da 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 Okay, it's wanting to make chafe again, but it does not want to make the pallet. He's got water. Let's see. We're still getting an error. It is still looking for that pallet in this folder. Now the easy thing to do to do would be to put that pallet in that folder and it would definitely get rid of this but I don't want to do that. I want to know what's causing it. I want to know what's looking for it and I've completely freaking forgot. Let me pause this and look around some more so I don't waste your time. Okay, I think I found the culprit. You remember we we changed where it was here. So since we already put it in the map, we put it in the map before we changed where this would be looking for it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and leave it the way it was and like I said this is the potato washer i3d uh, fabric script we're gonna have to come back to this this is the map i3d in your map folder it's right click notepad it is being we already installed it it's basically looking for the potato washer where the mod was saying it was. So let's go. Let's do. Yeah, we'll do that. Map models buildings. We're not going to do there. Map models buildings potato. I think I spelled it with an E. Washer. If I had changed that directory before I imported it into the map, then I wouldn't have had to do this. Or what you crap. I need to quit that. Yeah, yeah. No. You gotta be careful what you got open. But if I had ed if I had edited this string on the actual mod itself before importing it in the map then I would not have had to do this it would have pulled it in and copied these attributes down for it so map models buildings potato washer should fix it sometimes it doesn't like the map word to be in front so it would just be model so let's try it again <clears throat> 